Hi, this is Ali Hosseini. I'm a digital marketing expert, and I'm going to show you um, a way to save thousands of dollars on your Google AdWords. Uh, they're charging you without you knowing it. They started doing this in, a, in at about November um, of 2019, and I just found out. I think nobody else knows that Google is doing this, so here is um, a way for you to save a lot of money. If you like this video, please um, say it and like it and subscribe to my channel. Uh, for more videos like this one. So this is a campaign for a customer of ours. I came across this by accident, actually. Um, I had no idea they were doing this. Nobody else does probably at this time. So this is a good thing for you guys to check out. Um, go to ads and extensions and then go to automated extensions. And then you see something like dynamic something. It's either call out or site links or dynamic, a bunch of other things. And uh, what it means is that um, Google places um, a specific information under your ads. They choose what they put there. That's why it's called dynamic. Um, they're not, it's not something you have chosen. You can do your own site links and call outs and things like that um, through your ads, but dynamic means that it's not something you control. Um, and what's happening is in this account, I'm checking it from November 1st, 2019 through February 6th, 2020. And you can see uh, my customer has had 670 clicks on dynamic site links. These are basically links to his website, but that's something Google is choosing. It's not something we have decided to do. And he has spent about $2,000 on these dynamic site links. We have had almost zero um, return on our investments with this $1,900 and of course Google is not refunding this because they say it's in our fine print that we will create these dynamic links and they, you don't even know that they're doing this so the only way you can turn this off is by going to um, more right here and then advanced options and then you go here and then turn off specific um, automated extensions and then you have to choose all these different dynamic things that they're putting up there now you know given some of these are good you may want to use them like seller ratings this is from Google um, GMB uh, your ranking your reviews um, on GMB and your rating so I would leave this one but everything else I turned off um, for my client on, on the new account so I'm gonna show you on this account um, that I turned off those dynamic um, call outs and sitemaps and all that stuff. And this is the new campaign um, designed so it's a little bit different than the old ones. So when you click on ads and extensions, you see automated extensions. And then this is another account. This is how I came across it because I saw that there are some dynamic call outs and dynamic site links. And then I, you know, they had basically depleted my budget using these call outs um, and site links. I don't even know what, you know, they put on the website. They could have put something like, you know, get a hundred dollars, click here. I mean, I don't know. So um, the only reason, the only way you can turn this off, as I said, go on more. And then here you can go to advanced options and then you select those other things that, um, those other call outs that you want to, you don't want Google to show. This will save you um, thousands and thousands of dollars in the next few months. Um, I hope it's helpful and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this to save you money on AdWords, on SEO, on your digital campaigns and leave a comment and if you've had if you know other things that you want us to know or there's videos about those please share those uh, we don't want people to be wasting their monies on um, on their adwords campaigns thank you very much um, for watching this and have a great day bye bye shooting yes <laughs> um this is ali hosseini i'm a digital expert digital expert. hi this is ali hosseini i'm a marketing 